World on my shoulder, can't lie, wear a ton Tell her how it is, never been the one in front I'm a wild boy, black guinea in the front I pop out after not seeing me for months I'm trying to change my life again, already did it once Times I gave it all, others I ain't do enough The usual suspects, heroes in the cut No more loose ends, so I'm just ain't make the cut Real ass nigga, ask them how they lies holding up I need a bad bitch and liquor that'll help me open up I'm in a diamond club for niggas thinking now I'm boss enough AP in my heart froze, tell me who ain't cold enough Still doing me when it's all said and done This game put me Back. Every time I say I'm done, the good with the bad, learn to take it how it comes. She like stomach on my mouth, I said take it hot. It's tough moving on, we know you haven't hit. Real bad bitches at my parties in the hills. Walking barefoot to the Uber Holy Hill. You name it in the contest, and you don't know the deal. Alright, y'all, we just got to the gym. We about to get this workout in. Low key, I ain't got no pre workout. Disgusting. And on top of that, <laughs> bruh, they got pre workout and they got on leg sleeves. Like, bruh, hold on. <laughs> like, <laughs> Professional? Yeah. Professional. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What? I had no VC points this morning. Uh, Real VC points up. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, like dudes ain't even tell me I ain't even get the memo. <laughs> uh, it's about to be just pure vibes this morning. Think I'm bitter, I'm just hurt that homie switched on me Said I'm younger than been calling me the big oh. homie In the land of snakes, I'm like Moses with this stick on me I'm the chosen one, mother don't forget homie Look, dropping these songs weekly Money coming in, they from the streets, this clean squeaky Working at the hours hella hard so you can't reach me 50 songs in, now this getting hella easy, hella easy And I put that on me, feel like yellow bees Fuck up the game, now my bank account hella sleazy And I'm on you n***s head like I'm Y'all, I'm over here dying I should have got my leg sleeve. That's what it is. I got a leg sleeve and pre workout. <laughs> Where my water at? I'm finna make my blood clots come back. Selling beanies with the wise guys and good fellas like I'm Scorsese. 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 I don't know. Looking up the shit, we about to make a movie. Pouring up a cup, we about to set the mood in. in the car, rolling up, smoking some groovy. We just popped up at the spot. What is it called? Muffin. Muffins. Muffins. I literally had it yesterday. First bite, had a seizure, bro. So we got David right here. We got Carter right here, and we about to get the first reaction. Mama the truth. Mama the truth. Mama the truth. Get up on there. Yeah. Uh, you're right. All right yeah, that's some right. personality to it, right, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. I will <laughs> I, I, I rarely ever get places 10 out of 10. But this, you got it. You got it, game. You got it. Cheers. Yes, sir. I'm gonna put it right there with that cheese busting. Put the hash brown inside. Man, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Put his head for I get excited when you're not biased. Love is in my head. I won't stop trying. Got somebody that you love and well, oh well. Faking innocence and I won't tell. Little bit of ghetto and a little bit of bougie and afraid to get this in a motel. Love calling my name, love playing my games. You ain't got no shame, but in my part, the plan. I get excited when you're not biased. Love is in my head, I won't stop trying. I get excited when you're not biased. Love is in my head, I won't stop trying. Uh, girl, you cold hearted. Revelations that I had, girl, you so scarlet. Uh, I be tugging down on your garments. Why your man back at home running red carpets? Uh, I'ma send it to Think about the pressure I'ma get to you Ain't no lies told with me in the new Leave me one more like a motherfucking in the loop I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head 
I won't stop trying I get excited when you're not biased Love is in my head, I won't stop trying Oh yeah, of course Well, you know, I've been uh, doing uh, content creation since like since I was a kid, like I started off doing games, whether it was like this little game called RuneScape back in the day, and then uh, then it was uh, Call of Duty montages and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, I'd be more than uh, happy uh, to do this. And you know, later on down the line, if y'all did want to do deliverables or something like that, I'm also open to that. But I think y'all like the uh, the YouTube video and the Instagram video that I put out. Hell yeah. Sweet. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the product, feel free to hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll put my phone number here. Yo, what's good, twin? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're feeling highly blessed, highly favorited, all the above. Today is going to be a hectic day, and high key, I wasn't going to vlog, but, you know, sometimes I think, like, these videos come out better when everything isn't planned. So, I literally just got done my meeting. Today was left on the agenda, and hold on, I wrote it down, because... For some reason, like, if everything is in front of me and it's, like, clear to read, I get things done and I don't procrastinate. If I just go into a day and just be like, oh, I got to do this, do this, do this, nothing is going to get done. Like, for an example, right, if I'm doing a vlog, like, I'll put everything I need to get done during that day so it gets done. And that's kind of what I do with my to-do list. So, today, finish the meeting. Then I got to do these uh, video for this cologne brand right here still gotta do these videos i'm gonna do that asap because i need my money you feel me la is very expensive man and plus i was on the outskirts of la and it's beautiful la the city is the scut is ghetto but once you start going to the outskirts like the valley and stuff like that like i envision myself in like a couple years like not retired but you know everything is a flow i'm in my late 30s or like early 30s whatever and i'm just cooling and i'm coasting and i'm somewhere in the outskirts running with the white folks and all that like that's my plan so we got to handle business i gotta do that and then i got a doctor's appointment my doctor's gonna let me know like how my blood work and everything is doing because like right now la is very beautiful like the weather is heating up and then on top of that i think we gain like an extra hour so instead of getting dark at like 5 p.m disgusting it don't get dark till like 7 p.m and with that like i just feel like my productivity goes up like i just want to do more my mood changes i'm more in a better mood and then on top of that like i just be wanting to be outside like old ron back in the day i used to be outside monday through friday it ain't matter where i feel like the pandemic kind of changed me and everybody else i went from being an extrovert to like an introvert and i don't know like being in a new city i don't want to be in a house all the time i kind of just want to do certain things because la has like they got dope spots where it can be like a bookstore or a dope coffee shop and i just want to explore things and just be outside more so hopefully my doctor gives me good news and then after that we're going to go to in and out if you ever been to la i don't know who made up this rule but it's like a must thing to do to go to in and out and i've only been there probably like once since i've been in la so we're gonna stop by there answer some questions that y'all left me on instagram some of y'all is nasty and i should expose y'all but i'm not because i'm a child of god so we're gonna wrap up this work handle business and i'm gonna holler at y'all i would give y'all a kiss and a little pound but somebody left in my comments he said if you don't stop that kissing ish so i'm gonna keep it pg today <sighs> Call you every day like I'm not out here getting to it, to it, to it. You got my attention, but I wanna get used to it, to it, to it. <laughs> For me to fall in love is kinda dumb, I might be looking stupid. I swear you're the only girl in the world, I don't know how you do it. I see it all, baby, I've been through it, and I know. The city is beautiful and so was the weather but what if you had the perfect scent to match well luckily that's why we got joe malone london so we're almost done this video it took me like a little bit of time to like figure out where i want to start 
I feel like that's usually like my hardest like point. Once I kind of have an idea or I have like my first couple of clips in my timeline, then everything else pretty much like just flows. And the concept that I gave them at first is a little bit different. It's like, I don't know, like being a creative, once you actually have something in your hand, like I can give you a creative concept on uh, these, or I can give you a creative concept on how I'm gonna use my phone in a video. But once you actually like walk around and do certain stuff, I feel like that's when the ideas just like naturally flow. So I kind of added a little bit more into it. I'm gonna play the uh, video and show y'all what I have so far. The city is beautiful and so is the weather, but what if you had the perfect scent to match? Well, luckily, we have Jim Malone yeah, London on yeah. side. I'm a rock star in real life. We was doing Grand Theft Auto's hidden legs. Yeah. First set, Blackberry Bay. And you see like the little details, like when it comes to content creation, sound matters so much. Like just those little, uh, the little spray sound effects. I feel like that added a nice little element to the video. This is vibrant. So yeah, model face. Next fit. Next set, English book and hazelnut. Earthy, enticing, and enhancing to make the perfect combination. If that's in mathematics, what's your unique conclusion? So the last scene, I think I'm going to have like these two bottles like fall down and it's going to make the chair fall over i'm gonna probably be sitting on the chair first and look up and then you're gonna see these come and like crack the ground so hopefully that works out well i don't know if you've seen earlier but i had like a little clip of me like just doing that bro i'm telling you the things you can do with after effects is amazing you know how like people used to use green screens back in the day i'm not saying that it's not effective now but you don't need them. Go to After Effects. Premiere Pro and After Effects, bruh. Use that. But I'm going to wrap up. I need to take a break. I am high key hungry. And I need to answer y'all questions. So we're going to throw a fit on. I'm going to see y'all at in and out And uh, let's get to it. My bad for being too close, boss. Oh, no, My man, bad. You no, you're good, bro. My bad. I'll be, I'll be delicate, too. I'm skinny as hell, so I can slide you right straight, there, You straight. You straight. Enjoy that food, all right? Oh, Thank you, man. You two double, double. Just got in the car. I'm high-key parked in the sun. So hopefully, like, hopefully this doesn't mess the Q&A up. Like, bruh, goddamn. And then everybody is blocking me in, so it's not even like I can move. But I got a double-double right here. Got another double right here. And we got some fries. The fries or ass like the burgers taste pretty good but the fries taste like cardboard uh. i thought i spilled ketchup on this shirt i was about to be fuming and hold on y'all was complaining that i ain't feed y'all last time so boom uh. Uh. go ahead go ahead now don't be shy i've been waiting all day for this Anyways, what y'all all been waiting for, the juicy q and A. I'm going to answer some and then save the rest for later because I don't want to make this 30 minutes long. But the first question is, what is the biggest culture shock you experienced moving from Philly to LA? And why did you pick LA over New York? So if y'all don't know, I made a video um, basically like I was debating on if I wanted to move to New York or if I wanted to move LA. I love New York, bro. I think... If New York had LA weather, I would have chose New York easily. It's just that it's two things. One, I wanted more of a culture shock. The East Coast is familiar to me. I'm in New York. Well, I was in New York all the time. And then the other thing was like 
it'll be times where I want to be productive and like the winter seasons and you know basically when it gets cold but during that time it gets dark at like 4 p.m 5 p.m and it's just cold as hell to the point where you can't really do nothing and LA is different like you get rain here and there but for the most part like it's good weather majority of the time and that allows me to be productive and just do more I just wanted to expand and be productive so that's like the main reason why and then I want to say like the biggest cultural like difference is just the people like everything out here is pretty much like it's things that are familiar to home but just the people in general like I can walk up to somebody back home and have a genuine conversation here you can find it but like you just run into the same thing like I'll have a conversation and then literally four senses in hey you know what you do what you do what you do out here what you do like people i don't know it's, it's shallow like don't get me wrong like you hear a lot of people say la is fake you do meet genuine people it's just back home is definitely easier next question oh i like this one somebody said why don't you upload to youtube more often and i like i really want to answer this the reason why i don't upload on youtube as much as i would like to is because i started becoming like a full-time content creator based off of like short form meaning instagram TikTok. so the majority of the brands that i work with <clears throat> they're on those platforms and i'm not saying money is everything because don't get me wrong like i enjoy uploading on youtube more i feel like it's more of a connection i feel like i can express myself more it's just that like i can't give y'all videos unless like you know um over here making money and i make majority of my money on instagram and uh TikTok. Now, it's a point where it was like, you know, I've come to realize that if I want to be more consistent on YouTube, then Instagram and TikTok has to go. Like, there's no way, right? Like, editing and putting videos together how I do, like, it's literally impossible to be consistent on every single platform. So that's my, like, reason. When I can, like, let go of Instagram and TikTok and kind of, like, just focus on YouTube, I will. So my plan is I want to just focus on Instagram and TikTok, build that up. And then when it's built to where I want it to be, I'll take my time away and then I'll focus more on YouTube. I love y'all. You feel me? Next question. Ever considered doing global masterclass camps on your editing process slash content creation, etc.? So this is like a highly like requested thing like people want me to do editing courses and i will however i've just never been in a rush to make editing classes or like i like you got certain people where they base a channel off of like just editing tutorials and how to's and you know that's what i did like i appreciate certain people who have done that because like when i was like learning how to edit i would literally be in my loft building and I would just watch videos at the computer for hours and hours upon end until I learned how to do certain things. But me, it's just that I feel like I've came to a point where I have created my own style. And honestly, like social media, everybody's just copy, paste, copy, paste. So I haven't been in a rush to be like, OK, guys, this is how I do this. Like, I want to keep some originality for myself. You feel me? And some people would say it's a gatekeeping, but I don't think that is gatekeeping at all. You know, I feel like if you take pride in a certain thing, then that's perfectly fine. But what I will do, and it's just a matter of time, like once I balance out certain things, like, you know, I'm consistent on YouTube, I'm consistent on my socials, I'll make like a, probably like an ebook or like just digital products like LUTs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get on it sooner or later. It's just a matter of, I just need some time. Next question, sir, are you single? Why, why, why are you asking? Listen, my question to y'all is like, y'all know I just moved to LA, right? I just moved here. So I haven't really been in like a rush to like, just date people and stuff like that like i honestly think dating is so like exhausting just for the main fact that like i don't know i know the work and how busy that i be i just know that it would be hard to really lock in on the goals that i have for myself and also just distribute that to a partner but who knows you know i could be dating somebody i maybe could not be you know but listen look my thing is, if I had a girlfriend, y'all would know. Like, I really don't be caring. Y'all would have seen some nails in the picture. Y'all would have seen somebody on a YouTube video. 
I, I really don't be caring. <laughs> Next question. This is the juicy one. This question is, why don't you F with such and such anymore? Y'all was a cool duo for a minute. You know, I've been avoiding this question for a long time, right? When it comes to like certain stuff being shared online, I think that like, it just don't need to be like me being a grown man gossiping online like that's just always been weird to me you know and i think certain things are meant to be private but if y'all are unaware it used to be four of us it used to be me dio praise and nobody right and that was a dope like time in my life like do y'all understand like how just good it feels to have like friends where y'all all just successful in your own right to the point where i can call up dio or i can be like yo pre or just anybody be like yo i'm feeling a little down y'all trying y'all trying to take a trip to uh miami hey yo what y'all doing it could be monday yo you trying to take a uh, trip to london tomorrow and then everybody is gone everybody is out like that feels dope as hell just having you know a group of black men and i don't even mean to like throw race into it but just growing up how i grew up and being where i'm from yes it feel nice to have a bunch of dope successful black men in a group who was just standing on business you know but unfortunately certain things come to an end right and i don't want to like bash anybody because that's what we're not like we're above that but i will say when it comes to friendships and relationships i have non-negotiables relationships if i'm dating a shorty and she outside being a thought she's done she's packed up i remember i was dating some bad shorty right like bad it hurt me to let her go that's how bad she was right but she went to miami annabelle talking about going to miami she went to miami and she was just outside outside she came back i said listen look you know respectfully i'm good oh but no you're packed up you know that's just something that i hold i feel like the person or people who you hang around represent you so that was a non-negotiable for me and then when it comes to friendships right i don't tolerate no type of disrespect if you talking bad about your friends if you being nasty towards certain friends then like i'm good and it just came to a point where like i was just peeping things and peeping things that was just like just nasty and stuff like that and over time like you kind of just like like you kind of just like take things in and i just didn't like how he was moving and how he was like going on about certain things and then it was one big thing that happened and then i said you know what let me be like the bigger person and then linked up with him again and it was more so the so it's like bro like j cole he got a line fool me one time shame on me fool me no fool me one time shame on you fool me two times shame on me if somebody keeps on revealing a character time and time and time again then bro you just gotta go you feel me and it came to a point where like it was like this one last text message that i seen and then i peeped like just like all this bad stuff like talking i was just like yo bro i'm not even finna go back and forth like that's one thing that i don't do i do not go back and forth with people at all i peep stuff i move accordingly and that's what i did i was on vacation with the girl i was dating at the time i was in california on a yacht with my feet kicked up and i just moved on from the situation so that's that without diving too deep i just didn't like the way certain people was moving and i'm way too much of a good person to have negative energy around me and around my circle life is too short to have that around you you feel me but anyway next question next question is did your family support your content creation career in the beginning how is it now versus before honestly like when i graduated high school I honestly could not see myself going to college. Like, first of all, I just think it's weird. Like, how do you graduate high school and then they expect you to know what you want to do for the rest of your life? How? How? Like, that's literally insane. And like, my childhood was a little bit different. Like, when I was in like middle school, high school, and moving forward, like, I used to be like the biggest video game person. I used to be in my mom's basement playing RuneScape, making Call of Duty videos, montages, and stuff like that. Like, I legit have Call of Duty montage videos on this channel if you look like far, far back, right? But, you know, my parents, they definitely was worried. And then when I started doing like Instagram stuff and like dipping into fashion, they were still worried. They like, why is he not going outside? You feel me? But then over time, my family went from being worried. They never really pressured me, 
but they did say certain things like if you go to college you know i'll give you this apartment for this much like just giving me like cheap like alternatives to like live somewhere if i went to college like they mentioned it but they didn't force it right but i want to say the turning point was when they started seeing me like being featured on like certain like magazines and like instagram pages i was on forever 21 then that's when i was like I feel like my family was like, all right, we're going to back up off of them. Because back then, y'all got to understand, like, social media and knowing that you can get paid from just posting your work online, that's a now thing. Like, back then, like, 2015, 2016, people didn't know that, bro. Like, even, like, video games. When I used to play video games, people used to be like, oh, you a dork. You a nerd. But now when you can, like, when people know you can get paid from it now, now, like, the whole perspective changed. So, my family, like, I'm not going to say they were supportive but they wasn't hard on me when it came to me just like wanting to do it you feel me and i'm gonna always be appreciative because me like when i have a kid and when i have a family whatever my children want to do i'm never going to be like no you got to do this i'm gonna be supportive so that's that but the sun is going down i'm on seven percent i got a charger card and i feel like i've been talking for a while so we're gonna finish this q a tomorrow I still got two of these. I don't know how people do mukbangs. Like, I feel like if I'm talking and eating at the same time, that's disgusting. And I, bro, I be hearing people like eat and chew with their mouth open at the same time. I hate those sounds. You know, I'm getting off topic, bro. Let me go charge this car. Mm. Finally making some progress. I just sent my manager a rough draft. She sent it to the brand and they got back to me. And they want me to change a few things. Like it's very rare that like I'll like do something and people don't request edits, but it is what it is. I'm gonna show y'all like the first video that I sent and show y'all what they wanted me to change. So play and so was the weather. But what if you had the perfect scent to match? Do I sound like Jay-Z? Right here, I had to uh, basically like take two out. I had two at the corner and then two at the bottom corner as well. But they told me, oh my God, my battery is about to die. Disgusting. But they told me uh, to take that out because it looks like I'm pairing four, even though it was the same, it was just duplicated hands. But that, I had to make this part a little bit longer. I'm a rock star in real life. And licks. Uh, that's a fit. If I wear this again, mind your business. Uh. Okay. Next fit. Some calm. Nation. And they told me to change this right here. Like at first it was one coming down. Like when y'all see me dropping the colognes, this is what I was doing. And that's crazy, but this is what I like AI after effects. They make everything so easier. It's crazy what you can do with these programs. Like, like me getting into this type of stuff and just like doing my little stuff. Whenever I see movies like Avatar or any movie that got like a VFX edit on it or whatever, like my appreciation goes through the roof because I'm like, that takes so much planning, the imagination and just skill that you have to do in order to like pull stuff like that off is actually insane. But I did that, put the little gr ground cracks right there. Um, like if I open up After Effects, you can see the little ground crack simulation that I made. I literally just learned how to make this when uh, I think I had went to Iceland and I was doing like a gonna F you mean fashion reel. So that came in handy. But they want your boy to take it out. So I did me a little clean draft right here. Let me see. My thing is going real slow right now. Yeah, so I just took it out. It is what it is. And now I just gotta change the text and stuff like that. And then over here, when I had posted that hour vlog, when I tell y'all like my computer was going through it. So my homie, he put me on to proxies. Like if you use Premiere Pro and you haven't like got in tune with proxies basically proxies like it 
makes another version of your clips and it like dumps down like the file size right so it keeps the quality but what that does is it just makes everything go by smoother right so normally like let's say it takes me two days to film and then two days to edit and then another two days to like edit edit on top of that and like smooth everything over by doing this i should cut time and just be able to like make content a little bit faster because i'm trying to take over you feel me like i'm really trying to take over man like i feel like this year is definitely my time and i was just talking to a couple homies and like just talking to my mom like a couple weeks ago like i was really 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 going through it because like just life was hitting me like so many things and i really don't want to get into it but you know she was just telling me to keep a I just keep my head up and just keep faith and stuff like that and i had a little plan and she said you know you seem like you got everything figured out like everything will be okay just keep on pushing and like this year has been a blessing direct deposits then came in crazy this month next month gonna be even even crazier night oh my god bruh like it's crazy bruh the world man when you just keep on applying yourself and you just work hard towards certain things, like it's just crazy, like the blessings that come out of nowhere. You feel me? And it's like I'm here chilling now and happy about this, but like who knows? A couple months from now, a bigger blessing is going to come. So that's why, like during times when I'm feeling anxious about certain things or I feel like life isn't moving in the right direction, I always remember times like this because there's been multiple times where things have been bad for me. And then like, I just remain calm and keep pushing and everything ends up like working itself out. But I'm gonna wrap this up, man. Tomorrow, we got a long day. It's gonna be a busy, busy week. I'm not complaining, I'm blessed at the end of the day. So I just figured I'd tap in with y'all before I do that. So I'll holla at y'all. We're starting the day off being more accountable. Like, I don't know if y'all pay attention to me or not, but I'm trying to hit my full sexiness peak by at least like spring. Summer is a stretch. By spring, I feel like I've been putting in a work to do so. So, like, one of my main things is that I don't hit my protein goals. So we're trying to do that. You see this stack of meat right here? We got Beyond Burger, the little plant-based. Come on now, go crazy. We got this pasta thing right here. I wanted to mix my meals up with things that I can actually cook, but then also my biggest flaw is that like sometimes I work and then I get lost in my work and don't have time to cook. So I want things that's quick, nice and easy to make. We got ground beef, self-explanatory. I don't know what this is. No, no, this is ribeye steak. Uh-huh. But this right here, I don't know what cut this is, but it looked nasty. I might... Yeah, we might not touch that. And then recently, like, I'm so weird when it comes to, like, just meat in general. I'm like a, a in-and-out vegan. 
It's like, <laughs> it's like certain meats just leave a bad taste in my mouth. Like I cannot do chicken breasts. It's so weird to me. But we went and got this from uh, the grocery store and it's fire. This curry coconut uh, chicken right here. I got this one too. We got the barbecue style. So I got like five packs of these. The rest is in the freezer. And then we also got some apples, some strawberries. We got these little ass oranges also, some eggs, potatoes. And what else? We got beans. What else? Oh, and this right here. I told y'all I'm a fake vegan, but I was looking at this Netflix documentary and it was showing like parts of the world where people live the longest at. And it was to a point where like people was like 110 years old. I'm talking about they was exercising, doing like daily activities, swinging axes and stuff like that. And the diet really consisted of beans, a lot of fruit, and just like organic stuff. And I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, I'm going to make that full change because it's hard just adapting and going straight into like a new diet. But I'm going to try my best because... Bro, after like my experience with a hospital and stuff like that, I don't ever want to go back in there because like some failure with my body, any type of issue. So we're going to try to control it as much as possible and just be more cautious of what we're putting into our bodies. But I'm going to put this away, cook. Listen, y'all going to be eating good for the rest of the week. I don't ever want to hear you say don't no, be feeding your ass because y'all be lying. Somebody God is good. Like these last couple months, high key, I've been stressing due to the fact of me being hard on myself because I'm not putting in a work that I would like to because of certain reasons like my health and just a whole bunch of stuff, right? But it's to a point where like, if you're a content creator, you know that you gotta post, 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 post because if you don't, then your income is going. Them brands, they going. And with me not posting and like being on top of it, like that was like a worry of mine. Luckily, you know, I'm smart with my money, you feel me? And I kind of like stacked up and thank God, bro. Like I'm glad I was responsible because the medical bills and all this other random stuff, like when I came to LA, just came out of nowhere. Life was hitting me. But with this break, I've kind of been worried because there's been like a couple brands that done say, hey, we want to work with Terrine. And then when we give them that rate, they be like, uh, we went with a different direction. What other direction? Who you going to get besides me? Hmm? Who? Who? Tell me. <laughs> nah, but, you know, it kind of made me get a little bit discouraged. Like, dang, bruh. Like, I'm not on people's radar no more. Like, I'm losing it. And then it's just playing all into my mental health and my stress levels and stuff like that. But I got a call from the manager. She talking about something. Be locked in a couple things. Be locked in Nike. We locked some other things is coming. Man, that's just a universe that's God telling me not to worry, to breathe, take things slow. But man, I'm finna just go hard and grind it out for these next couple months, bruh. It's a saying that they be like, uh, one year can change your whole life. Nah, fuck that. Like, if you lock in for the next three months, next six months, bro, your life can change, man. Just keep on keeping faith and all that. But I gotta meet Dayo. He just texted me. I got 15 minutes to get ready, so. I holla at y'all. Just wanted to tuck in right quick. A tornado flew away on my boat before you came. Excuse me, the mess it made. It usually does a rain. Southern California, much like Arizona. Nah, we might have to run them over for real, for real. Nah, for real. Uh, get your little ass out the way. Get out the way. Currently in a Mark Corvetti. I ain't gonna lie, like, the lightning in here is pretty fire too. 
pretty fire. But we about to go to a coffee shop, get some food and all that. You got Dayo right here, see what's good? Yo. Listen, y'all be, <laughs> like, be harassing me. Harass Dayo too, cause. Yeah, if, I, if I post this video, it's because of Ron. Yeah. He's supposed to do like a, uh, a show in the court off. Nah, that's a, nah, yeah, that's a one way, buddy. He was supposed to do like a show in the car off video like five months ago. Y'all ain't never finna. At this rate, I might as well do it for him. <laughs> nah, for real. At this rate, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I didn't have no, I didn't get in the car. Yeah, but I'm about to just get some work done. I gotta do an Amazon video and finish up this uh, Joe Malone campaign video. So I need to switch up the scenery a little bit. So I'm gonna tap in with y'all a little later. How y'all doing today, bro? Oh, so I'm lying down thinking about you. Ooh, no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Dead has found the perfect spot and it's closed. Sick. Tight to my stomach. But we finna go on Google Maps. My boy uh, Cardo, he sent me a list of like coffee shops. So I'ma just see what's like the best, the next best option. Damn, how much you gotta pay? Uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars to be salty. It's crazy. LA is expensive. Y'all listen, I found the root cause of why Dayo is only posted once a year. He used his final cut, bro. bro. Final cut is tough. Look at this man timeline. This is my Joshua Tree video. Let me see what's this guy. Look at that. Hey, let, me, let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. That is nothing compared. Oh yeah, that, look, that, that, that looks crazy. Bro, you, you see how much it's you gotta scroll adult. over? Now look at now look at this right here. Hold up, my computer is struggling right now. <laughs> but look at that. That's Premiere Pro. But if you zoom in, nah. can you zoom in, can you zoom in on that timeline? Bruh. Nah, that's way more difficult. It's not, it's not. If you've ever edited in like iMovie or anything that has a magnetic timeline, that's what this is. Uh, nah. Tip for all my creators, Adobe Premiere. Final Pro. <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> Either LA is finally growing on me or it's just having the support system that I do have out here. And honestly, just looking back to where I'm from and where I came from and just seeing where I am now and the things that I've built for myself, honestly, I'm just filled with so much gratitude and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Here I go again. Trying to get your body right, I always wow. get your body right. Yeah. You know we about to sin. Pray the Lord forgives me for everything I'm thinking. Pretty brown skin, the ocean get deep, deep. How tall I gotta be to swim? I'm trying to bump and grind deep, deep in the back of my deep, deep. Playing B, B, B. Your love makes me happy. Sweeps me off my feet Come on. Feels like we're in another universe No complications, this is what we're supposed to be Yeah, like this You're my lover, yeah Yes, I'm on all right, y'all, quick little oodle do before we step out of here. On the legs, we got pants on Reese Cooper. I think I got these, like, has it been a year ago since I was in Iceland? But fire pickup. I don't care how much I spend on pants. Pants is always going to be, like, a good uh, investment. Let me make sure that's straight. But on a shirt, I was in a part of California called Playa Vista. Fire is beautiful. And I had ran into, like, this area where it was a bunch of, like, boutique, boutique shops. And basically just like a bunch of like small vendors and one dude, he had a brand. The brand is called Archive in LA. This is it right here. Yeah, go support. But I think for like the springtime, especially because y'all know when it started getting hot out, it's hard to layer. Like during the fall time and winter time, it's so easy to put together fits because you can throw anything on and kind of make like things look more detailed. When it gets hot, it's harder. So I think my thing is going to be dope pairs of pants and tees like this but crop it so it fits nice, you feel me? And then on the feet, ugh, it's getting dark. The sun is playing with my feelings. All right, we back in the game. And then on the shoes, we got the Rick Owens, of course. We got this hat right here, high key. 
I kind of look good in hats. And then on the bag, we got this one of one messenger bag, but I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, she'll have more. Go support. Bag by Low Cup. But today's mission is to just go get a fit for Dante's and Chrissy engagement party and then head out. This part of the city that we're going to is, I think, Art District, and it has so many dope stores, bruh. <sighs> we gotta fight the urge, but I'm gonna tap in with y'all once we get out. Switch on the that I came up with. Eh. No new friends with the same old click. Eh. Couple old homies went and stabbed me in the back, but it's no love lost. I'll probably bless him with some stacks. That direct deposit lovely. Went from shaking Kool Aid packets to popping bubbly. Went from asking women for hugs and now they hugging me. Ain't life lovely. Do it so good, make a hater wanna no, we'll never me. switch on the homies in the day one. Just left the store. I got a pair of pants and a tank. Cost me. Damn near like 250 maybe 300 dollars it's a scam bro i'm telling you bro la it's beautiful don't get me wrong like fire this area is called the road dtla but just be unnecessary after this i'm going on a spinning strike i ain't spending money on nothing call that man young frugal because that's what i'm about to be but i'm about to go to uh this one chicken spot in downtown la it's fire and i'm gonna answer some more questions for y'all so i'm gonna holler at you Bro, I don't know if y'all can see, but hold up. <laughs> they dead ass gave the mannequins cakes. <laughs> Why the mannequin got <laughs> Why the mannequin got a fatty? <laughs> All right, y'all. I know I said I was gonna be a little bit more disciplined today, but I've been outside all day and I'm hungry. So I took this time to get some food from this one uh, chicken spot. It's called Tokyo Fried Chicken. Hold on, let me show y'all. Cause I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's a crime not to. Hold on. Yeah, do y'all see that? We got fried chicken. I think they gave us an extra piece, you know, cause we're God's favorite. We got that, some sauce on the side. These yams right here bus i know i be acting shy with these mug bombs but i'm gonna answer these questions and i'm finna eat first question what did it take out of you to get where you are today i want to be super transparent with y'all i don't have life figured out all the way yes you know i'm doing well for myself but there's so much more that i could do you know but one thing i will say is it takes a lot of sacrifice People don't understand when it comes to like doing content creation or just being successful. It's times where, you know, people will invite me out. I don't step outside. It's times when I was single back in my, I ain't gonna say, let's say outside days, right? I used to have like people saying, hey, can I come over? Hey, you wanna spend time together? Hey, let's go out, ah, ah. And as a young man that don't know, like know any better, I'm talking about pre-hill run, right? As a young man that don't know any better, temptation and stuff like that is very hard to say no to. But when I was trying to make it to where I am today, I said no to a lot. Basically, no social life. Focus on your grind, your craft, because it may seem like you're giving up a lot and you may not like it in the moment. But in the long run, you know, you'll thank yourself. So that's that. You know, just a lot of sacrifice, hard work and a lot of self-control. Next question. If you could tell your younger self one thing, what would you say? I feel like the world pressures us to just be great at a young age. Like when I like when I was younger, I thought I would have kids and be married by the age of 25 and have like my career job. No, if it's anything that I would tell my younger self and anybody who is younger and don't have everything figured out is to literally just keep on putting in the work keep on doing what you love life will figure itself out as long as you're putting in work like 
you'll get somewhere. I've never heard of people who like tried or like focused on the craft and then just turned out to be a bum. Everything will be okay. That's what I will say to my younger self. Relax, take a deep breath. Everything will be okay. You got this. Next, how to monetize social media as a content creator. Well, you can do YouTube. Second thing, you gotta build a following. Like people forget, like you need a following in order to just monetize anything in general. Either that or you can do, what is it called? UCG for brands and they'll pay you. But that's why I be telling people to make sure your content is good. Let me break it down, right? Me, I think I have 150K on Instagram and 150 something on TikTok and about 40K, almost hitting 40K on uh, YouTube. But me being this size, I can charge more than people my size. Like I can get paid as much as somebody who has like 500K or whatever the case may be because like, my thing is brands be like oh he has an engaged audience and then also my work like my work speaks for itself to the point where like that i ain't gonna put out numbers but that joe malone uh well video that i gotta do i don't gotta post that i don't gotta post it and i'm getting paid like enough like let's just say is enough to pay my rent for a few months and my rent is high out here in la so one how to monetize social media as a content creator. One, take pride in your work. Brands will hit you up just to do UCG sometimes. And then also build a social media following. And when you post to Instagram, to TikTok and stuff like that, brands will find you and they'll contact you. Yes, you can contact brands, but for the most part, brands will contact you and then you'll learn how to like give your rates and you know how much you should get paid. So that's how I monetize social media as a content creator. And then you can do eBooks and LUTs once you build like a fan base or like a strong community. So that's that. Next question. Ooh, what is the worst and best part about being a man? Ooh, that's a good question. I would say the worst thing about being a man is just the societal pressures it is on you to just be successful. Especially nowadays, you go on TikTok or YouTube shorts, you see people saying, oh, if he don't make 100K or more, then he's useless, da 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 Like, it's just so much pressure to be rich as a man, especially as a young age, you know? And I want to say, like, the best part, I don't know, bro. What is the best part about being a man? <laughs> I guess, like, I don't know. Like, me, I take pride in, and it makes me feel good when... I'm able to take care of things as a man, like just take care of my mom. I do certain things for my family and do things for friends. I think the whole like brotherhood and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, bro. Y'all tell me what's the best part about being a man. Uh, I know the worst thing about being a girl. Y'all periods and y'all time of the month. I don't know how y'all do it. Next question is, do you think life experiences have crafted the way you express your creativity? A hundred percent. Yes. I grew up not being able, I'm not gonna say I wasn't able to like share my emotions and stuff like that, but I definitely bottle a lot of things in to the point where like I get my inspiration and I express myself through music, specifically R&B. Somebody asked me if R, well, if Bryson is my favorite artist. Yeah, he's one of them. And just any male R&B artist in general, it's like, I feel like they speak for me. So when I'm just filming, when I'm behind that computer screen and I'm editing and I just hear certain music, I feel like a part of me just expresses in a way and that kind of shapes how I edit. It's weird like explaining it, but I don't know, music and just like my upbringing and how I can express myself through that is beautiful. So yes, my life experiences did shape the way how I express myself, Creed. Man, no yam shall go uneaten. Somebody said, how long did it take to edit your IG reels the way you do? Um, Honestly, I can put like my first video up, right? My first couple of videos were bad, but here's the thing, right? All information is ready for y'all to consume on YouTube. I feel like we as a society, we just want things fast. And what I used to do was like, I'll sit in my loft building for like hours upon hours a day. And I would just look at Premiere Pro editing videos, how to mask, how to do a, a spin and shoe transition. And I would just learn it, trial and error. Like you can literally, like if you see an effect, you can literally type it on YouTube, how to, and it'll show up. 
I use Premiere Pro and After Effects, but I want to say after like a few months, like I saw my work gradually and gradually get better and you just pick up and learn things as you go. So that's that. We got a question from Lisa. She says, how are you doing health wise? <sighs> I didn't want to tell y'all this the other day, but literally before I had went to In-N-Out, I had went to the doctor to do like a blood work checkup and stuff like that. And basically, I feel like when I was in a hospital, they sugarcoated a lot of things. And when I was there, like the doctor, this is a different person, right? She was basically telling me like, you should have died. Like what you have went through and how much you had in your lungs, the, like it wasn't just me having one blood clot. I had it all throughout my body and it was so much in my chest just because like when I first got here in LA, I didn't pay attention to the signs because you know, like me, I'm a healthy person. So I'm not thinking it's anything serious. I'm thinking I have the flu or something like that. So I didn't get checked up, but she said, you could have died. You're lucky to be here. And that's the reason why I preach like health and fitness so much, because I think the reason why I survived that and overcame it is because I work out a lot. So that definitely did help. But just to sum everything up, man, like my day was kind of ruined and I low key like cried for a little bit, but they took like this test and they literally let me know this morning. They had did like a D-dimer test where it shows like my blood work on a thing and it came back positive. So the plus side is we won't be, I think we got like a, no, no, no. The downside is I'm gonna be on Eloquence for like another three months or something like that. The plus side, we are doing better. We are healthy. My oxygen level is at like 98%. When I first went in there, it was like, I think it was like 85 so you see the difference so in all we're doing good we had a scare from the news and stuff like that but we got reassurance and we're doing better thank you for asking next question is how do you stabilize when life gets chaotic and your emotions are off i'm kind of still dealing with that and you know dealing with better ways to go on about it but generally you know i just try to stay by myself i'll listen to r&b music i'll journal I'll just create more spaces for me to just go through the emotions by myself and understand why I'm feeling that way. And then also like going to the gym helps, man. You know, they say when you go through like breakups or like bad times in life, you know, people go to the gym and they get ripped because the gym, bruh, the gym is a therapy session in itself. But usually I just try to be by myself and just understand and allow myself to actually feel it rather than just brushing whatever is off to the side so yeah that's that somebody said is bryson tiller your top artist i peep you play a lot of his music yes that's my twin twin and i'm gonna answer this last question too because it kind of ties into it um Bryson, he releases a lot of music on SoundCloud and oftentimes SoundCloud music is free. So I use a lot of SoundCloud music in my videos. So it just happens to be so Bryson be on SoundCloud a lot and SoundCloud, the music is free. But that's that. I may answer some questions later on, but I got to meet Dio and it's kind of getting late. Bite down on that. that shit is fire. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it to see slides in both ears. Dice falling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she want to mind when she tell So, currently, I am driving around aimlessly. Is that how you say the word? I swear, sometimes, like, my Philly accent literally prevents me from saying a few things but i gotta kill time because i gotta pick up my homie dio dio is not finna be in a vlog i'm just picking him up and then dropping him home don't get too excited all right <laughs> and then after that i gotta get my nails done because your boy over here looking dusty my necklace is looking crazy right now like men take care of yourself if that's one thing i will say is just take care of yourself skincare routine just upkeeping yourself and stuff like that your girl gonna notice your future girl gonna notice people notice so definitely take care of yourself i gotta get that handled and then also i gotta stop past the showroom and then pick up some clothes my homie pablo he has sent me a text and he runs a few brands and he said yo do you want anything she was fire and y'all know i'm trying to get back in like my whole picture taken and like just bag of creating so i'm gonna stop past there and then go pick it up like 
this is one thing that I will give LA. And I know that I be giving LA so much flack, but California in general is just so fire. It's like I have accessibility to pop up to showrooms. I got accessibility to like the brands that I be working with. I can just go say what's up and meet the people behind the scenes. And even like, I just get a sense of like, I can be a homebody but if i want to step out and be outside i can i can be in joshua tree in a desert somewhere two hours away if i want to go snowboarding two hours away it's just so much you can do so la california you're growing on me like you see the matcha like my whole like thing in la now is like i love just going to like random ass places and just like coffee shops and just trying new coffees and matchas your boy out here turned into a la baddie what's going on but yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Dio and I'm gonna tap in with y'all once we get to the showroom, all right? I'm a lover boy, she love the toys. Keep it coming, you a vinyl. It's that roll myself a J and count my figure shit. It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this phone, we ain't gonna Damn, I need, to, I need to start some product or some digital shit. No nah, facts. It's just taking that time out to like really like put some put some together. The good, the bad, and the ugly of the fashion industry. Hey man, but do you enjoy it? Of course. But I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret, man. Every product you make ain't gonna be a hit, and you gotta know how to how to deal with that. And then when you get too much product, you buy too much inventory, you get stuck with it. Yeah. Cash flow, you know, so you got to clear it. Got to bite that ego and clear that old inventory for a lot cheaper than you thought you was going to sell it for. But that gives you new money to invest in new, better things. So this stuff right here is clothes all goods. So you said what is what? These are clothes all goods. Mm -hmm. This from last summer. We probably make it for he'll blank it out. <laughs> make this for <laughs> sell it for 120. Mm -hmm. But now I gotta sell it for 10 because it's just sitting there and not doing nothing, you know? Um, but a guy from whatnot about to come up here to app and buy all this stuff. I'm gonna take that little little money and go invest it in some new stuff. You. Oh yeah, I'ma uh, harass y'all for that red jacket. That that whole hard. <laughs> Be safe out here, my man. back in the house y'all honestly i thought today was going to be pretty hectic but i don't know if you can tell but literally last night i went to sleep at like 2 a.m and then i woke up at like 6 so right now my body is absolutely like just like running off e but i had went to the showroom i'm unboxing while taking the stuff out now just to show y'all what i got i took dio home and i just wanted to see what his balcony looked like because like right now I have a two bedroom, two bathroom, and I got a balcony. However, that balcony, the only thing that's on there is my bike that got a flat. I caught a flat on that tire literally a week until having it. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed, but I wanted some inspo because I really want that area to feel like an extended part of the apartment. Like, and it's pretty big too. So I think I'm gonna get some towels, some sofas, and just really make that place like look vibey because oh and then like i don't know if y'all remember but earlier in a vlog i was talking to this guy and he's a part of this company so i might have a sauna 
and I'm going to have one of them like little ice tubs that I can just sit in. Like imagine like the content, imagine like just the sunrise just in there coming out to sauna and you just see the whole like, uh, like if that's not the most get money thing I've ever done said, but let me brighten it up a little bit. It's getting dark in here, but yeah, I just wanted to look at some inspo because it's so hard, like just coming up with like just home decor stuff. You know what I mean? But we went and got some shirts this right here i really messed with this colorway hold on let me take it out real quick you see this right here i got it in this color it's my homie cardo birthday tomorrow so i might pop out with that i got it in what other color do we get this in dang she ain't have it in green i'm tight i'm tight that was the best one low key they gave me this shirt also. They got a Playboy collab coming out. So that's a little long sleeve right here. We got these pants that I really mess with. Let me get up for y'all right quick. Y'all see these? Ugh. Say it with me. Say it with me now. It's disgusting. And then if we open these up, we got a pair of blue denim Playboy pants as well from Jaime. You know, I don't really have that many blue denim pants, so whenever I can get some and they actually fire, like, dang, is this skinny? Nah, 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 this is a 36 and it look pretty wide, so we might be able to finesse. We got that, a black shirt as well. I might as well open it up since I'm already here. The clothing is actually pretty quality as well. But that's that. I think I'll put some outfits together for y'all in like the next day or so. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Somebody said, yo, bro, your breathing is getting worse. Like, or it's the same as before. Are you okay? It's not that um, like my health is bad. Y'all don't understand. Talking to this damn camera and then doing all this moving, like it'll take the breath out of anybody. Especially when you get to be my age, you know? But I think... I'm gonna just call it a day. I was gonna do like a whole cinematic, wrap the whole day up and just like close the video out. But I gave y'all probably like a good hour, and a, no, probably like a good hour. If not an hour, a half hour. So yeah, it's just so much that I have to do in so little time. And I was actually talking to my manager about this and just a few homies, like, I think at this point, I think it's, I think it's time to like really start building a team. Cause I was looking at it, right? I'm like, what if I brought on like an editor or somebody to like help me? I feel like the reason why I didn't get an editor is because, and don't get me wrong, like I've had mad people ask me, right? But the thing is like, when I do my YouTube videos, when I put out my work, it's like I'm pulling out my, uh, and I'm giving it to y'all. So when people be like, oh my God, dope video, da 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 da. It's like, it means so much more to me because it's like, I don't express myself in, my daily life or I haven't since I've grown up all my life, right? So me doing content and like, it's just a, a way of expressing. And I feel like if I had somebody edit stuff for me, then it would just be unauthentic to me, you know? It's just like, I like to have a hand in what I put out there, but I was just weighing it out, right? Say if I had like a, a, a personal editor, right? And I just sat him down and I was like, I like this, to be done this way and da 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 here's what i use here now let's say i'm doing a youtube vlog right for an example let's say i'm done it takes me two days to film two days to edit and then two more days to polish it i can save time on the polish give it to the editor right and then i can go off and go do my instagram and tiktoks and then i can get that done and then that saves me like a whole extra two days you know what i mean i just think it's time to like really grow into myself really grow into the boss that, you know, I know I am, you know, a lot of people outside looking in and even me now is like, don't get me wrong. It's like outside looking in, Ron is good. You know, I'm proud of myself, etc. but it's just so much more room for improvement and just being out here in LA and just witnessing certain things and just knowing what's out there. My homies, David and Cardo, and this is why it's so important just to have friends that are on the same wavelength as you because they just push you to do more. But they was like, yo, bro, the money is printed. We just got to go get it. All these opportunities is out here. You just got to apply yourself and go get it. So 
I'm making a promise to myself just to expand and just take over, bro. Because I'm too far goddamn talented to not improve, like, at the rate that I want to. But at the end of the day, I know it's not a marathon. It's a, hold up, how do you saying that? It's not a marathon, it's a sprint. It's a, no, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Whatever, y'all feel me. But, yeah, this is the year. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Much blessings and all that. We're going to try to be consistent, I promise. But I hope y'all enjoyed this hour-long vlog. In the meantime, much love, blessing. Stay up. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right.